Today we're talking to David Amma, who is uh, the Danish team leader for the para uh, riders that we have today. Um, one of the things that we'll be talking about is not only how it is to have the European Championships on Danish soil, but also how uh, the para riders are doing in uh, achieving high levels. Yeah. So the first question, just to start off, off is uh, how many para riders do we have on the Danish team? Uh, we got uh, five riders on the team in four equal uh, grades, yeah. 1A, 1B, 2A2 and 2 in grade 4. And uh, on the team, going to, for the team competition we have four riders. And then we have one rider who's riding in the Individual. Uh, individual, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and so what does it mean for, for you and for your team to have uh, the European Championships on Danish soil for the first time? Uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to, uh, of course, all the practice. You don't fire so much. There's only two, three hours driving by car. We, it's home ground, a lot of press. We can really, uh, we can... Uh, we can uh, make it sure that everybody can see our riding. And uh, the Danish Federation are, oh, very good. And so we, we hope we can be a part of everything. But Is this the first time that we have para dressage alongside dressage and jumping, or has yeah. this happened before? Uh, we, had, uh, we had it in Kentucky, it was a World Equestrian Games, like a pa Olympic for horses, mm -hmm. every. But here is the first time in the European Championship uh, with para, the SARS and, uh, and show jumping. And so do we have the Danish team on, are we high on the international scales? Do we have top riders? Uh, yeah, we have top riders, yes. We have uh, in top, last time we, at the European Championship we had uh, five medals and silver in the team competition. At the World Equestrian Games we had a bronze in the, in the team competition. And uh, we are going, we have very good riders. And I have uh, seven good riders in Denmark. So we're known as yeah, a, a yeah, good para yeah, team. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, one of the questions I have, because I don't know a lot about para, is 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 it is para riding form of a therapy, or is it a job or sport, or is it both all? <laughs> I think it's in my in my opinion, it's a sport. Mm -hmm. Because, but it's also a therapy. Because me, m most of my riders have started with therapy, mm -hmm. and said, "Okay, we want to do this for not for fun, but we want to win mm -hmm. and uh, make sport of it." And then s s slowly, they get think that they, <laughs> some riders think it's too boring to ride therapy, so they start to ride themselves, and then. And then they pick it up. But yeah. a lot of uh, since it is, uh, some of them have it as uh, alongside their job. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, compared to the regular or mm -hmm. the yeah. other uh, yeah. dressage riders yeah. who have it full time. Yeah. So is it hard to get sponsors and support for the sport? Uh, yeah, we, we have a, it's, it's, my riders are working very hard to get their own sponsors all the time to make money. Mm -hmm. To uh, pay their horses, have expensive horses. The, the trainers are expensive, you know, the blacksmith, the vet and everything about it, the, the equipment. And uh, when they they're gone for they're going to use it for their their, their holiday mm -hmm. because they're gone a week away from their, their job. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a very um, they have working very hard at their own beside their jobs and mm -hmm. everything. So they're really sacrificing yeah. their own personal yeah. time yeah. and yeah. going full and force. Boyfriends and girlfriends that if they don't they have to be with here. Yeah. They can't do it. And so what do we do uh, as a sport, as a community, but also as, as people who like the sport? What do we do to create more focus on the para riders as well as the regular riders? <coughs> it's, we have to continue to do like this. Mm -hmm. with, with all three, all riders together, uh, all horse sport, you know, show jumping, vaulting, the sounds, para riding, uh, driving. Do that together. Because I know it's a big competition, but it, as a European Championship, you have, you, I think you should be in show jumping, the power riding, and the SARS together. Mm -hmm. So we could be more focused and more people, more television, more radio, more press on the on this, and then we could get more. But we also have to stand in the small level, mm -hmm. a small competition, 
around the country. We have to keep pair riders into integrated to the the shows, small shows. And there's still some body says, ah, we can't have pair riding, we don't have a judge, we don't have proper toilets. Mm. They're afraid to do something wrong, so they, they don't do it. So some of the facilities... Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just do it. Just do it. Yeah. And they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it sounds, so what do we do also to make sure that our riders keep participating at such a high level? If, if we're known already now, we need to keep supporting our yeah, riders yeah. Yes. specifically. What can we do to help, uh, to help some of our riders get even further? Um, a lot of uh, a talk about it. Want to talk about it? Yeah. Yes. Like this. Okay. And, uh, and and we have to know the right kind of people with the money. Okay. And but uh, we we starting to know them, okay. and they start to know us, and we talk to them, and and we have one horse in the team that's yeah they really she's good and the super, she, the yeah, Lego mm -hmm. gave the horse to her. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, yeah, David, yeah. for showing thank up you. and for telling us about about Paris Thank you. Thank you. Top 5